Baby shark. Anyhow, welcome to my channel. I'm Niche Vape, and it's in my head. It's in my head now, baby shark. Do 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 do. Anyhow, hello. My little dog now in the in the camera as well. No, my pug wants to come up, but no. Get down. Get down. Go on, shoot. Go on your basket. Anyway, sorry for the interruptions. Um, today I'm going to be talking about squonking. Now, if you're new to vaping, which a lot of you hopefully are, if you're new to vaping, it means that you've quit the cigarettes or you're quitting the cigarettes. If you're looking into squonking, it means that you are a little bit along because squonking um you need to have an rta on top uh, sorry an rda dripping atomizer on the top with a squonk pin now i'll go through the whys and wherefores and such forth um i'll go down to the table i'll have a look look at the different bits of a squonk device now basically you get two types of squonk devices a mechanical and regulated for this purpose I will only be talking about regulated devices I will not be touching on anything mechanical at all so squonking what is it basically what it is you've got your mod something like this and it'll have a little receptacle so to speak a little bottle which keeps your liquid in now the liquid will go from there up through a little tube and into your tank at the top that's the general gist of it so you're not constantly dripping your liquid in the top or you haven't got a tank on the top this one single battery um, at the moment the popular there's a couple of popular ones just out at the moment is the recurve Mike Vapes' squonking device and also very popular is the Ohmboy Rage squonk mod now they all work on the same principle you get the bottle you fill the bottle with your e-liquid you press the bottle, known as squonking, you press the bottle, the liquid goes from the bottle to your atomizer at the top and you vape away. Now you might be thinking, well how does the liquid get from there into there when you've got a 510 pen? pin in well nine out of ten well i would say every single atomizer nowadays dripping atomizers come with a squonk pin now <clears throat> more often than not when you get the atomizer there'll be a solid 510 pin on the bottom i'll show you down below once we get up close with it they'll come with a standard pin in the bottom what you need to do is remove that and you'll put uh, what's called a squonk pin or some people call it a bf pin bottom feed pin basically it's a 510 pin with a hole all the way through so when you squonk this liquid it'll go from the bottle through the bottom feed pin and into this tank no messing with dripping or anything like that that's basically what a squonk mod 
pain atomizer is all about so if you're looking into squonking it's a very very convenient way to do it most of the squonk mods are quite tiny now look at that in my hand it's not large at all obviously you get some mods dual battery and all that sort of stuff they can get quite large now this is a very small mod it's a regulated mod single 18650 battery there's all sorts of concoctions out there two batteries single batteries 21700 2700 and such forth and such forth this moment in time all we'll be doing is covering the basics of squonking so i can explain to you what it is and then you'll think all oh, right that's not too bad i'll give it a go or that sounds shit I don't want to give it a go. So, as usual with most things, we'll go down to the table, up close and personal, and I'll show you a quick look at the Squonk mod that I'm using, the Recurve RTA on top that I'm using, and maybe a couple of others. A look at the difference in the normal 510 pin and the squonk pin so we'll go down to the table and have a quick look see you there right squonking this is your basic squonking mod this one in question is the rsq by hot sig now as you can see on the top let me get a pointy thingy pen or whatever as you can see on the top in the 510 there's a hole yeah now that hole is what makes this a squonker so I pull this door off inside there's your squonk bottle now that comes out see if I can take this out without getting eat liquid everywhere because I find squonking a bit messy but I know there's ways and means to you can get little bottles now with your e-liquid in you fit it on the top and you fill your squonk bottle up from there so this is your basic squonk bottle now with that you screw that top off put your e-liquid in there as you can see there's a little bit in there already put your e-liquid in you got usually you got a pin inside there put your tube on just put your tube on there push it up there you go squonk bottle is inside the mod attached to the tube on the top which links in with the hole at the top so with that we've got here the recurve as you can also see it's got the squonk pin in or the bottom feed pin whichever you want to call it it's not the solid pin it's got a hole in the bottom so screw that on I should have got some tissue with this really but there you go get a piece of tissue liquid everywhere so what I'll do is put the door back on my mod and as I squeeze the bottle you should see e liquid rise up now you let go of the bottle and the excess goes back down into the bottle a lot of times you have to be a bit careful when you squonk because if you can over if you over squonk some mods it'll some at is sorry it'll piss out the airflow and stuff like that the recurve is not too bad it's hard to get leakage with the recurve it really is it's a very very good squonking idea as i get as i say it's very very easy e-liquid into your bottle fix your bottle inside put your atty on the top squeeze the bottle 
and all the e-liquid goes into the RTA at the top. Very, very easy. As I say, there's loads of different makes, models of squonking mods. My dogs, I'm going to get a boot up the arse in a minute because they keep barking. Where was I? Yeah. Get loads and loads of different squonking mods. Loads. You get single battery like this one, dual battery, loads of different ones. Most RDAs come with a squonk pin. Well, I would say 99% of them nowadays, to be honest, because obviously squonking is a big player in the, in the vaping market. So what we'll do, we'll go back up top. Have a little talk, a little run through again, and that's your basic squonking. See you up the top, guys. So, hopefully now you'll be a bit more clued up on what squonking is. As I said, there's loads and loads of different squonking devices out there. Most RTAs have a squonk pin, so you'll be able to use almost any RTA, uh, sorry, RDA out there. Anything from single coil to dual coil. They all do, well, I wouldn't say they all do the same job, but they've all got squonk pins. You can use squonk pins, you can use them on your squonking mod. So, hopefully that clears up a few things if you were curious on squonking or you really didn't know what squonking is about. I can remember a couple of years or so ago when squonking wasn't the in thing to do. There was only a, a couple of squonking mods um, out there really. Well, not a couple. There was a few squonking mods out there, but it wasn't wasn't the in thing to do. And I had to search and search for information um, about it. So hopefully you're a bit more enlightened as to what squonking is. So if you like this, please like and share. As always, if you haven't, please subscribe down below. I'd really, really appreciate it if you could. Always say that. Um, again, hit the notification bell. Be notified of any future uploads. As I say, this week, it's going to be a bit quiet. Kids back to school, all that sort of business. Next week, back to normal, getting the videos out there. Thanks again for watching. I really, really, when I say this, I really do appreciate it. I really do. I hope you all have a cracking day, wherever you are, cracking night, whatever. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you later. Cheers.